The Red Devils fell to their ninth loss in 20 Premier League games this term on Saturday night, with a dismal 2-1 defeat at Nottingham Forest. Nicholas Domings opened the scoring for the hosts, just after the hour mark, before Matt Turner gifted Marcus Rashford an equalizer, only for Morgan Gibbs White to go back down the other end and grab the winner. Once again, United dealt their fans another false dawn, after coming from two goals down to beat Aston Villa 3-2 in an enthralling encounter on Boxing Day, only to lose while playing so timidly days later. United were without the hero of that Boxing Day clash in Rasmus Hodgland, due to illness. While the likes of Lissandro Martinez, Casemiro, Mason Mount and Harry Maguire all missed the trip to the city ground due to injuries, Ten Hag preached post-match that the inability to consistently play a strong team has hurt their ambitions this season. When asked by Sky Sports what the main issue has been with United's campaign so far, Ten Hag replied, the injury. Also some issues but mainly the injuries hold us back in the process. In January, we have a lot of players returning, so then our levels can be higher. Ten Hag added, it's clear the result is very disappointing. We should have invested more in these moments. We created less before halftime. We didn't do enough. The second half was better. We are losing the game by a goal, and you saw the fight in the team. We had our chances, the football in the second half was better. They kept believing and going until the end, but of course when the result is this, we are disappointed. The players are not happy with this, but we have to do better. We haven't played with the same team in a row. We had to change again, so every time we have to swap our team. The reporter said, that doesn't help or support the routines of the team, and it explains why you are so inconsistent. Ten Hag replied, we had nine different partnerships in the back. It doesn't matter as well, the fans don't want to hear this, they want to see us winning, and that is what we have to serve them. United have dropped to 7th in the Premier League table, but could sit as low as 9th by the time they return to action, if Brighton and Hove Albion and Newcastle United win their games in hand. Don't forget to hit that like button, smash subscribe, and a big shout out to all you awesome fans. Your support means the world.